Do you want to learn how to cut out fins from a template? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're giving out a free plan pack for rockets like this one when you subscribe to our newsletter. Now you just go to the Apogee website and then find that newsletter subscribe button and you'll find the link to get the plans. When you get the plans, you're going to get um, a three-dimensional drawing of the rocket plus a 2D drawing with dimensions on it plus the decals like you see here and also a fin template which is what we have here and what I wanted to show you in this video is how to cut these out. So first thing you'll do is from the plan pack just print this out on uh, just regular paper um, and you'll notice there's dimensions right here. Um, it should be three inches wide by six and a half inches long. So the first thing you want to do is just double check the measurements. So see, I'm just checking here and it says three inches so I'm good. So now I have the right size. Then we want to transfer this pattern to this balsa wood sheet. Now that's where um, the tricky part comes in. What I like to do is to spray the back side of this with some spray adhesive. Now this is a repositionable adhesive and there's the Scotch spray mount kind and the Elmer's multiple purpose spray adhesive. They're both pretty much the same. Um, you can also use uh, rubber cement. Just paint the back um, and then you paint the wood. You actually have to paint both sides. You paint this, you paint this with the rubber cement. Um, you let it dry and then when it's dry you bring the two together and it contacts and it instantly bonds. And then you can still remove it and then uh, rub it off if you have to reposition it. Then you have to paint it all over again. Um, so if you're going to use the spray adhesive, use this outdoors because it's pretty nasty stuff. You don't want to be breathing it in. Um, the first thing that I want to do here is cut it out with a hobby knife. Um, and you can cut out on the lines or inside the lines. Um, I usually go just inside the lines. And you can see I always lay the ruler on top to protect the fins pattern themselves. Always start with a very sharp hobby knife too. And then when you lay the ruler on top, um, I put my fingers here to keep them out of the way of the blade and then just draw the blade along the ruler and you'll get them cut out. All right, so now I'll have this. And then I'll take this, shake it up a little bit, and again, do this outdoors. And it's just a very light coat, just enough to get it a little bit sticky. Whew, I can smell it, and it's bad. Um, so I got my piece of wood here. Now this one's pretty warped, so when you buy balsa wood, try to get balsa wood that's flat. Um, it is possible to add a little bit of moisture to it. Um, and then press it under some books, some heavy books, uh, overnight to let it dry. And it should flatten out the wood, but I'm just going to cut out this piece here because it's scrap for me. So basically I'll just lay the pattern on the wood like this, flatten it out, and you can see it, it adheres pretty good. And then it's a matter of cutting it out. Now on these fins, I always would like to cut the line that goes between the fins first. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So what I do is I put my knife blade right on a point and then bring the ruler up to it and then use that as a pivot. So I get it positioned correctly, then press down hard and then draw the knife across. And when you're going across the grain, you're gonna to have to take several passes and you'll hear it pop. You can see that nice sharp edge there. Okay, now I'm going to do this one here, 
and I'm rotating it around again. Since I'm right-handed, I want to put the ruler on it and hold it with my left hand. I bring the ruler here, pivot, and then slice across. Just like that. When you're going with the wood grain, it's a little easier to cut. In fact, you know, just one pass should do it. Like that. And here's my final little piece. So it's pretty simple to cut them. Um, and then when you're done, the paper will just peel right off and you're ready to start sanding them and gluing them up. You can see this one's still a little bit warped, so try to use flat balsa wood. Um, you can also, if you don't have the spray adhesive kind, you can also just take regular white glue um, take your pattern and just put some glue on there. Oops, a little bit too much. And then you'll want to take a piece of plastic, like a credit card or something, and then just smooth it out. Get a nice thin film. I got way too much on there. Like that. And then you can take your wood and lay it on. Again, you try to cut that out first. And then put that on the wood and flatten it down real good. Um, and if you do it this way, you're also going to have to put some on the back side. You'll need sheets on both the front and the back, um, which is what I have here. I've done both sides at the same time. Um, the advantage of this is. Um, one is the paper is not coming off. Uh, once it's glued on, it's, this is permanent. But this is actually good because it actually uh, makes the wood a lot stronger. Um, the wood grain is going this way, and normally you'd be able to snap it. But because of the paper is on there, it acts like a skin. It's going to be very strong. You can leave it on, and you can paint right over the top of this. Um, it does make sanding the edges a little bit harder because you're going to be sanding through the paper. But go ahead and do it. Give it a try. Um, it does work fine. Um, the adva other advantage is it's a lot easier to finish the rocket so that you get that nice smooth surface on your balsa wood fins. Now these are balsa wood and you can see how smooth they are. Um, so the, that's how to create the um, cutouts of, from templates. If you would like the plans, Come to our website, subscribe to our newsletter, and we'll send you these plans. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Um, over here to the side, we have some other videos I'm sure you're going to enjoy. So may the winds be white, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.